Hey guys, and welcome to this video on what is Big O. So let's start off with the definition of Big O. So here we're going to put definition. And the definition says that a function, which we'll call f of x, is Big O of another function, we'll call it g of x, if and only if, so we're going to use the two ifs for I mean, the two Fs for if and only if um, there exists exists um, positive constants. So positive constants. And we're going to call them um, K and C such that we get the following. So such that the positive quadrant of f of x is less than or equal to some constant c, some positive constant, times uh, the, the positive quadrant of g of x for all values of x that are greater than some, what we could say greater than or equal to uh, some k, some positive constant k. So this is the actual definition of big O. All right, but what does this really mean? So let me go ahead and put that marker up and let's, uh, well, let's draw, let's draw the graph. I'm, I am still gonna use this marker for uh, drawing this graph here just a little bit and then I change it up. So of course you might know of a two dimensional graph. Maybe it looks something like this. Actually, right where this is the, this is the uh, X axis and here is the y axis right and then of course over here would be the negative values and down here would be negative values as well but according to our definition here all we have to worry about is the positive quadrant so that's this quadrant here so we don't have to worry about this we don't have to worry about you know the other one two three quadrants all right so now i'm going to put up my black marker here and let's use a different color marker as an example and we're going to let mm, let's see i put over here we're going to let f of x be equal to x and we're going to let uh, g of x be equal to x squared Okay, so let's graph this here, and it probably won't be uh, to scale, but I'll try my best. So here we have zero, then maybe we'll have one here, two, three, and four. And then here we'll have one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, so let me go ahead and graph f of x, which is just equal to x here. So that means when x equals 1, y equals 1. So put a little dot there. When x equals 2, y equals 2. Or maybe it's probably like up here. When x equals 3, y equals 3. And we can see it basically looks like that there. All right. Now, let me take the other function, which is g of x, and let's graph that. So when g of x equals one, we get one. So uh, g of x will be here as well. Now, when g of x equals two, we get four. So that's all the way up here. So you'll see like a little cross there. Um, well, that's at two. So let me rewrite that. Two would be about here. Right. OK. 
okay so let's see maybe it'll be like that and it'll continue with this motion here okay so I tried my best with that now what we'll see is at this spot here they're equal but after that the functions are no longer equal you now see that our function f of x grows less than or equal to our function x squared just like our definition here f of x grows less than or equal to our g of x now in this case the constant c is 1 so all this is saying is right here um, for any values of x so these are all values of x here after x equals 1, our function f of x will never grow faster than our function g of x. So all of, all of this here, all these other values under that g of x curve, all those other values of x um, can be used. And this is actually what our k value could be. So this is our k value. Um, our c value in this case again is uh, just 1, right? Because 1 times g of x is 1 times x squared. So again c equals 1 and now k equals 1 as well. k equals this 1 down here. And we can see that um, our function f of x is big O of g of x. Okay, so let's take one more example here and show you what it really means for a function to be big O of g of x. So what that means is that if we use this example here where we say the function is big O of x squared where x squared is our g of x, this right here will contain all the functions that grow less than or equal to um, some constant times x squared. So this can be 2x squared. It can be uh, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1,000. Uh, it can even be a constant. So we could have a, a constant up here in the graph that runs, you know, like this. So this would just be some constant value where f of x equals 1. So yeah, I could put just 1 here. And in general here, what we can see is that this, this set of big O, big O of x squared, contains all of the um, all of the functions of f of x that are equal to uh, a times x squared plus b times x plus c, where a, b, and c are all positive constants. Okay. Well, they're they're greater than they're all three of them are greater than or equal to zero. So that's really more sp specific so forget about the all positive constants just know that they're all greater than or equal to uh, zero okay and some people include zero in positive constants um, some people don't so that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed this video please leave any questions you have uh, please leave likes don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching and I see you all in the next video